Satisfy your chocolate cravings with this no-bake triple chocolate cheesecake. Start by preparing your crust. Add whole Oreo cookies to a food processor and blend until they are finely crushed. Transfer to a medium bowl and add melted unsalted butter and mix until well blended. Pour the base into a springform pan and use a spatula or the bottom of a glass to firmly and evenly press the crust into the pan. Put this in the freezer for around 30 minutes while you make your filling. Melt a mixture of semi-sweet and dark chocolate in a double boiler, stirring occasionally until smooth, then set aside for later. Add slightly softened cream cheese to a large bowl and whip with an electric mixer or a whisk until it's light and fluffy. Pour in powdered sugar and vanilla extract and whip again until smooth and creamy. Texture is really important for cheesecake, so make sure there are no lumps. Now drizzle in your melted chocolate and whip until the chocolate is completely combined. Set this aside and in another bowl, start whipping some heavy cream until soft peaks form. If you don't have an electric mixer, this might give your arm a bit of a workout. Pour the whipped cream into the chocolate and cream cheese mixture and then gently fold until it's just combined. The idea is to keep as much of the fluffiness from the whipped cream as possible, so don't overmix. Once that's combined, pour the mixture into your prepared crust and use a spatula to spread it out evenly. Now this needs to chill and set in the fridge overnight. Once it's chilled, you can start making your chocolate ganache. This is really simple. Just heat heavy cream over medium heat until it's barely simmering. Pour the hot cream over roughly chopped semi-sweet chocolate and let it sit for a few minutes. The heat of the cream should melt the chocolate, so when you stir it, it will become luscious and smooth. Pour the ganache onto the chilled cheesecake and spread it out with a spatula. Then gently shake the pan to make the top smooth and even. Allow this to cool for about an hour, then use a small knife to carefully cut around the edge of the pan. This will make it much easier to remove later. Now you can decorate your cake however you want. We went with some shaved chocolate, but raspberries or strawberries would be great too. Once you're satisfied, remove the rim of the pan and now you're ready to serve. Hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.